Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. APC signs emerges that Gordon may win the battle as he takes Big's decision, shakes Oshomole's camp. Wow. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time we're reaching you today. We know that um, um, APC is seriously boiling with crisis since uh, uh, the suspension of Adams Oshomole. There have been different chairmen uh, emanating to become the uh, leader, the chairman of APC. We've had the likes of uh, Godom, uh, Biola Jimobi. We've also had Ilad Ete. Um, Ilad is trying to represent Ajimobi. According to the constitution, it's supposed to be Abiola Ajimobi. But presently, as we speak, Abiola Ajimobi is unwell. He's unfit to dispatch the, uh, uh, the duties of his office. And he was the one Adam Sushumole handed over to. Uh, so, Victor Gadom came up to say that um, he is the uh, he should be the acting APC national chairman. Why? Because um, when Adam Sushomole was initially suspended, the court gave him an order saying he should be the acting chairman. So a lot has been going on. There have been misunderstanding here and there. But it seems now that um, uh, uh, Victor Gadom is gaining hand. It shows it shows that uh, Buhari somehow somehow is supporting Victor Gadom against Adam Sushomole. You'll be surprised to know that there is a conspiracy theory going on with APC. Uh, some persons don't want to say to Adam Sushomole to his face that they don't want him. I think so. I might be wrong, but with what is going on, following the trend of things, that is what it seems. Anyway, let's get on to the news and get all the details. The factional acting chairman of the ruling of Progressive Congress APC, Victor Gadam, has carried on with activities in that capacity, despite serious opposition coming his way. After the Court of Appeal upheld suspension of the national chairman of APC, Comrade Adam Sushumole, the party appointed the deputy national chairman South, Abiola Jimobi, to act on behalf of Adam Sushumole. But Gordon declared himself automatic acting national chairman of the party, citing that court order has given him reasons to do so, although Ajimobi could not immediately resume due to health reasons. Consequently, the APC appointed the party national vice chairman, South South Hilad Ete, to act in Abiola Ajimobi's absence. Ete has the backing of Oshomole's camp and the National Working Committee, NWC, of the APC. Oshomole's camp also enjoys the backing of the national leader, Ashiwaju Bola Tinubu. However, Godom has continued to act as the national chairman despite opposition from Oshomole's camp and loyalists in the NWC. Godom has the backing of some NWC members and some present and past APC governors. With the support of his backs, with those that are loyal to him, Godom does not give a hook about the opposition from Oshomole's camp and loyalists. This has made the crisis facing the APC worsen as the two camps have been working on cross purposes. Just yesterday, Godom took a very bold decision that rattled Oshomole's camp and NWC. What did Godom actually do? Godom fixed a date for the APC National Executive Council NEC meeting, which Oshomole did not actually organize all along despite calls to do so. Although a date was fixed earlier, but the NWC meeting did not actually hold. Godom scheduled the NWC meeting to hold on Thursday, June the 25th, 2020. This seemingly interestingly this seems interesting because the NWC initially seems like a no-go area despite a call to organize it and have decision taken with regards to the crisis rocking APC. In fact, Gordon unsettled the Shomoles camp and suggested he could win the leadership battle when he said that the reconvened NWC he fixed has the backing of President Muhammadu Buhari. I didn't I tell you that there is a conspiracy theory. Some persons don't want to say to Shomole to his face they are using 
people to fight him. <laughs> you don't know what is going on. If Buhari truly go, gave Godom a concert to convey the NW, end of NEC meeting, then it suggests that Godom may actually win the leadership struggle. It also means that Buhari and his loyalists who are in NEC me members will be at the meeting, which Godom will preside over. What do you think? If that happens, it means that Buhari and his numerous loyalists have recognized Godom as the automatic acting national chairman of APC. This unsettled Ita and other members of Oshomole's camp who has refused to recognize Godom as the opposite as the acting chairman of APC. In fact, even after the announcement of the NEC was made by Godom, Ita dismissed the Godom summoned e NEC meeting as unconstitutional. When he spoke to the press on the issue, Ita went on to add that Godom lacked the authority to convey the meeting. Recall that Ita and his camp has made it clear that Godom should be disregarded as he is no longer a member of NWC and even APC following his replacement with Warren Bonus and his subsequent suspension by the APC in his hometown, River State. Meanwhile, it appeared that the decision of Godom to conduct, convey the NEC may win supports for him. This is because many APC members and leaders have been clamoring for the party NEC NEC meeting. Many C should meet. Ita himself has added that the NEC meeting was at the root of the crisis working the APC. He went on to say that he would work with his colleagues in NWC to find a way to convey to, and to solve the crisis. However, he did not make any announcement about plans to organize the NEC so far. Many may think that Ite, who is Oshomole loyalist, may not recognize, may not organize the NEC after all, since Oshomole would not want that to happen in his absence. In fact, Oshomole did not even recognize the NEC meeting when he was in charge. Many suggested that he kept he kept avoiding the NEC meeting for some reasons best known to him and his camp. In fact, the protesters who stormed the APC secretariat on Monday demanded the dissolution of the current NWC of the party. The protesters also demanded that the NEC meeting of the party should be organized to help resolve the crisis wailing the party. One of the group leaders also spoke speaking to the press, gave a 48-hour ultimatum for the party leaders to resolve the crisis or witness more of the protests across the country. It, could, this, could it be that Godom is acting in line with the popular demand of the, peoples, of the people, members of the party? If that is so, it means that Godom would get massive support from APC members across the country for heading and yielding to their demands. It means... He could, he could as well win the leadership thistle, especially if, it, if it's true that he has Buhari's consent to organize the NEC meeting. Recall that Buhari had a closed-door meeting with governors elected on the platform of APC last Monday. It is believed that the meeting was to discuss ways to resolve the crisis facing the party. The chairman of the Progressive Governors Forum and Governor Kirby, Atiku Badego, Governor of Plateau State, Simeon Lagun, and Governor of Jigawa State, Abubaka Darua, were, there, were those who met and discussed the closed-door meeting with Buhari after the meeting. Badegu told the press that Buhari listened to them and promised to want to move in the direction, the view to resolve the ambiguous crisis facing the party. People are eager for Thursday tomorrow to come. Will the NEC conveyed by Godom's demand take place? Will Buhari and his loyalists, will, will they be there, including some of APC leaders to set the meeting? Will Godom precise over the NEC meeting at the, national, uh, at the acting national chairman of APC? If all this work out, what happens after the NEC meeting? These are many more that people, questions that people are running 
and asking all about. And interestingly, Nigerians are waiting. We can't wait till tomorrow to get the what will happen if NEC will be meeting and Buhari will be there as we are hearing. My people, this is what is going on. There is why the, AP, the crisis of APC is not being solved is because there are some people who are actively involved and do not want the matter to be resolved, I can tell you. Anyway, my people, what do you think? Don't forget to like us, to share, subscribe, click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless. Have a good day. Bye for now.